Shalom Chavim. It's only getting worse day by day, and trying to keep you guys informed, keep up with everything is a difficult task. Uh, my wife, who is an incredible researcher, is uh, constantly uh, looking at the news, the news bulletins and posts. Uh, recently, so many things have gone on, but let me just mention a couple of things. There was a lot of protests in Jerusalem recently of the release of uh, not 84, but or 82, but now 104 Palestinian prisoners, uh, or they would not do any peace agreement talks whatsoever. Um, my dear brother Benjamin Netanyahu is under tremendous pressure to make these concessions, uh, which he believes is the only thing that's going to bring peace. And in fact, the Muslim world, uh, united with the Vatican, the and the West, and the European Union, are just trying to push Israel right off into the sea. And you know, as much as this is troubling in my soul, yet at the same time, I realize that the judgment that God is going to bring upon this nation and upon the rest of the world for their evils is only the beginning. Uh, there has been some of you guys that have reached out to us re regarding us doing a press conference on the um, Capitol steps in Washington, D.C. We've not set a date. We're trying to figure out what the, the optim optimum date would be. And we certainly invite any of those of you that want to come to be a part of this, as well as the United Nations. Um, I feel very much pressed in my heart that we should go to Israel. Uh, I have no idea how God will make the way for that, but I'm sure He will if that's His will at this time. Um, we had a brother, uh, brother Chris, uh, who is a Bible code searcher, uh, recently sent me a video where he had done the solar, it's called the solar flare uh, code and right across the very center of the solar flare code uh, was was my name there, uh, which was kind of ironic. It also deals with the the year fifty seven seventy five in the Jewish calendar, the the rebuilding of the temple, the two witnesses. So which I don't think that I'm one of the two witnesses, but uh, just you know the bride, the bridegroom, the rapture, all kinds of things are in this uh, video there. Um, I don't know how I can post that right here, but. Uh, um, anyway, maybe you can look it up, Solar Flare Bible Codes, but that's really not, I just thought I'd mention that to you because it was of an interest to me as well. Don't know why God is doing these things, but we need to see what he's up to. Secondly, let me just point out another serious issue in the uh, Muslim world. In Turkey, they have been really disgracing, dishonoring women. If, if a woman is pregnant and found walking down the street during daylight, they, they've been, they have killed them. Uh, they have beheaded them. They said it's a disgrace for for them to do so. And yet here we are in the month of Ramadan, and the President of the United States is honoring and even hosted a dinner for the celebration of Ramadan. So this is what your President really is. Your nation is being taken over by the Muslim world and the Muslim Brotherhood right through politics, right under your nose, and you don't even realize what's going on. It is a shame and a disgrace to the forefathers of this country that this country has come to this. But nonetheless, uh, maybe this is part of the judgment that God is going to do on this country for what she's doing to Israel. Um, you know, I, I don't even know what else to tell you right now. There's so many things that are going on, and, and we're trying to keep up with these things here. Be, be in prayer for us uh, as we try to uh, seek God for His direction and what we should do next. And uh, uh, we'll be praying for you guys as well. Serious hour. Uh, God bless you. Baruch Hashem.